Well, it's that time of the year again where ATVs and side-by-sides are on all of our minds and inevitably so are tires for those of us that need some new rubber. Now buying tires shouldn't be just replacing with what your vehicle came with. No, there's a world of options that are much better than your stock tires and that's exactly what I want to talk to you about today. And our friends from ITP have asked us to help explain to you the difference between a bias ply and a radial tire and which one is right for you. To know which choice is right, we need to first understand what makes each unique and where their benefits play out in the real world. So first, let's look at bias ply. A bias ply tire design uses crisscrossing cords of nylon that go across the center line of the tire at 30 to 45 degree angles. This design offers a stiffer sidewall of the tire and therefore delivers more sidewall puncture resistance. The bias ply tire also flex across the tread and sidewall because of the crisscrossing patterned cords, and this will allow your tires to clear out the tread better in muddy situations, increasing traction. Now, bias ply tires sound really good thus far, and truthfully, it gets even better. They're a lower cost tire because they're not belted like a radial, and they're also easier to repair in case of a puncture. All of this makes them a great option for utility vehicles where sidewall strength is required, or for those of us who live in a very abusive rocky terrain where sidewall punctures are the norm. Now the opposite side of the spectrum are the radial tires, and that's a name that we're all used to hearing from the automotive world. Radial tires utilize perpendicular plies across the center of the tread at an 80 to 90 degree angle. The plies are capped with reinforced belting at 20 to 30 degree angles in just the tread area of the tire. The added belting provides a stable footprint to the tire and offers even more traction as compared to bias ply. Now the structure the belting provides to a radial tire creates a more stable, smoother ride. It reduces tire noise, reduces internal heat buildup in the tire itself, and also extends tire life. Of these attributes, the smoother ride is the one thing that you're going to instantly notice with a radial tire as the sidewall is allowed to flex and absorb bumps and impacts much better than a bias ply tire. The radial design also puts more of the tread on the ground, increasing traction and decreasing rolling resistance. So that's a lot of tech info, but I'm going to outline in the real world where you're going to see the biggest difference and also where I think that you will benefit the most from a bias or a radial design. Higher horsepower side-by-sides running at higher speeds and weighing more will see huge benefit from radial tires because the belting in the tire area offers more strength and stability and they perform better in these situations. The belts on a radial mean the actual surface of the radial tire contacts the ground more evenly. You've probably seen bias ply ATV tires that are bald in the middle but still have tread to the outer edges of the tire. This is a characteristic of bias ply tires and how they wear but radials contact better due to the added belts and perpendicular body plies. Likewise, because the radials are able to flex on the sidewall but maintain their shape better when you corner, the tread stays flat on the ground. A bias ply tire will roll up onto the sides of the tread, reducing traction and stability when cornering. A bias ply tire is a very economical choice if you need to replace tires on a utility machine or likewise on a side-by-side -side or ATV that you don't run at extremely high speeds or in very sporty situations. But when it comes to the higher demands of performance ATVs and side-by-sides or even loading up larger horsepower utility vehicles where higher payload capacity is required, the radial tires shine brightest. They also offer a much smoother, more compliant ride. At the end of the day, it all comes down to what you do with your ATV or side-by-side -side and the budget that you're comfortable with spending. When you look at aftermarket tires like the ones that we've shown you today from ITP, make sure you take the time to read the description or look right on the sidewall to see whether they're radial or bias ply. Because the truth is, at the end of the day, there's a world of difference between the two.